Hi again, Dave with CAD Percussion. Uh, welcome to our product showcase. Today uh, we are featuring the Mallet Cat 8.5. Uh, just recently we released this new version of the Mallet Cat uh, with the Gig Cat 2 module, and it is without a doubt uh, the, the best we've been able to get thus far with audio technology. It's really about audio technology. It's about where MIDI had been from the 80s to where it is now. The sounds that are coming out of modules like the Gig Cat are so realistic that it's hard for any listening audience to really realize the difference between a real instrument and one that's now digitized or recorded. You know, sound recording and layering this, these days are done with actual recordings of actual instruments. They're turned into digital sounds and they are put into wonderful modules like our GigCat 2 here. Um, our goal in educating the audience today is to show you just how easy this instrument is to use in the band room, at home, and all around. And then also show you just a few features and benefits along with the sound that are included into it so that you can really educate yourself a little bit more on where an instrument, an electronic instrument, a portable instrument like this might be really put to good use in your uh, various programs. So let's just start with setting it up and I'll show you how easy this is. This is everything that comes with it, with the controller, all these cables and everything you need. When, when we first addressed this and we first wanted to uh, really put this instrument out there it needed to be easy it needs to come out of the box and for any kid that ever plugged in a video game system understand how to set it up and how to get it to operate so we're going to do that now very simply just like anything going to need power so i'm going to plug in my power cable for the malcat and inside of here we do use a little bit upgraded uh, connector so that you know if somebody's kicking it on the stage or something like that it doesn't just immediately come out and you lose your power and you plug that in and then two pedals are included with the controller. One is a sustain pedal, and that's a sustain pedal that you would use uh, if you're playing vibraphones. If you want to pedal and dampen, you would be using that, and your sustain pedal goes into the first switch there. Uh, you'd also use it if you're using tubular bells and you want to you wanna sustain it, but then you want to cut it off, however you want to use it. And then this is going to be our editor function pedal, and that goes in the uh, next spot here. The editor allows you to open up the functionality of the mallet cat. Uh, there's a lot of um, different words here that tell you how you can change things from velocity curves to dampening if you want to use them. If you just want to simply change sounds, there's numbers right here that you can get through all 127 presets real quickly. So, uh, so right now, the controller's set up. It's plugged in. We've got our pedals plugged in. The controller's ready to go, but it doesn't have anybody to tell to make sounds to. So that's where the Gig Cat 2 comes in. So the Gig Cat 2, it does have USB on it. It's got all your proper outputs along with MIDI. So in the Gig Cat 2, when you get the package, we include a MIDI cable. This is MIDI out from the Mallet Cat into the MIDI in on the Gig Cat. Always make sure you're putting it in the right spot. And then, uh, of course, like anything, we need power. So plug the power into the into the gig cat, make sure that it's got plenty of power, and it is awfully powerful, as you'll learn very soon. And then plug that into your power source, just using a uh, standard power strip down here. I'm going to fix up my pedals. And then um, we need to send the sound somewhere. So, I mean, in this application and what we're doing here today, I've just got two cables that are coming out of my interface that I'm recording this into. Um, oop, there they go. I'm going to plug that right into the gig cat. So that's it. And, and this, can, this has a headphone jack, so if you want your students to just practice quietly for a little while, practice their bell parts real quiet, they can plug in their headphones, and any set of headphones will work. It has an uh, eighth-inch jack in the back. Um, and then, uh, of course, you can run this out mono into any amplifier. Keyboard amplifier works great. PA system works great. Um, you know, and, and it's easy enough to have a headphone jack in there and, and a line out so that if the student needs a monitor or anything like that, that can definitely happen. But more than likely, once it's playing, especially if you got a larger amplifier next to the player on the stage projecting the sound, uh, they're going to be able to hear their parts really well. Uh, so I'm just going to turn this on and turn on the module. Turn on the mallet cat. Turn the power on my power strip. There we go. All right, so I'm, uh, I'm gonna grab my mallets and just show you how this goes. We got it all plugged in now. So what do we got? Ooh, timpani. 
Um, I guess I started there. I'm going to open up the editing function, go to the setup, and uh, go to number one, which is marimba. Great sounding marimba. So as I kind of said, the big the big hook on this new version of the Malakad is what we were able to do with sound technology. We went to a college, grabbed a bunch of amazing instruments, did a recording session, combining that with other sounds that we had in the library. We put the most um, the most focused, uh, I guess I would say, grouping of percussion instruments into the Gig Cat 2 module. This is the listing of all the sounds in there so that you and your students can have an easy guide to understand what's going on there. Uh, just to give you an idea, marimba, vibraphone, including bowed vibe. You know, if you got somebody that doesn't know how to use a bow, it's built into here. Xylophone, glockenspiel, cretales, steel drums, timpanies. We put multiple timps in here because um, timpani has been one of the sounds that we've had the biggest challenge with. Uh, general MIDI, but we've got five different timpani in here and they sound incredible and I'll demonstrate a few of them for you. Latin percussion sounds, if you've got somebody that's doing a glockenspiel part and you also want them to flip over and play that uh, uh, temple blocks part, that's that's easily done. Drum set parts are in here, so if you're doing a pops concert, you can flip from bell parts to drum set parts. You don't have to put the whole drum set on the stage. This can act as an entire drum set. You just have to view it as like a multi-pad or a controller or something like that. Um, we've got also guitars, steel guitars, pianos, strings, trumpets, saxophones, basses, slap bass, horns, you know, harmonica, and, you know, so many other sounds in the 127 sounds that are built into this that have nothing to do with percussion, but they need to be included because it's really what makes this instrument powerful. So, um, just gonna, gonna throw you a few of the sounds so that you get an idea of what everything is. I kind of played for you, um, the vibraphone a little bit, or I'm sorry, the marimba. Good to hear the low sounds and the high sounds. Uh, I'm going to go to a vibraphone with vibrato, and that is um, channel 4. So there's a vibraphone with vibrato. I'm going to hit the foot switch so that you can hear the vibrato. The other cool thing about the 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 functionality of this is, is FSR technology and not piezo technology. So it's it's uh, a technology that uses uh, pressure as opposed to hit, if you will. So it allows you to dampen your notes using pressure. And you know, same thing goes if you're using bells or whatever. Here's here's a xylophone. Oops. Um, great xylophone. I mean, that sounds like a xylophone. Now, like I said, the timpani is probably some of the most exciting stuff. So here's our timp 2 setting. Really hard to tune those high-sounding timpanis, but when they're already tuned in the Malakat, they sound great never really have one that high but so there's your timpani sounds um, throw you one more here's tubular bells now again sustain pedals open sustain pedals off Sustain pedal really helps you do a lot of what you need. Um, so those are just a few of the sounds, and that's how it functions. You know, if you've got somebody on stage and they've got multiple parts, or if you're looking at a score as a band director and you really just, you don't have all these instruments, they're here. They're all included. They're all in here. So um, let me run you through the price points really quick so that you know what you're looking at. We offer this in a two octave, three octave, and four opt octave option. Two octave, $17.99 with the Gig Cat. Three octave, which I'm using here, this is the Malcat Pro 8.5. Uh, this is $21.99. 
And then the four octave Mallet Cat Grand is twenty seven ninety nine. What's great about the Grand of four octaves is that you can split. You can split this into three if you want. You can split that into two, and you can have somebody playing a two octave Glockenspiel, have somebody playing a two octave Timpani part, uh, you know, and and just do a lot of different functions. And they're not very difficult functions to do once you learn a little bit more of the instrument, or you assign a kid. You say, hey, watch all these videos on YouTube and figure out the rest of how this thing works. Aside from that's the sound, and this is what it's doing. Um, the price points aren't uh, aren't that bad. We sell cases for these. You can put them on any stand. I've got this on a keyboard stand, for instance. Uh, you probably have a stand that would work for your band room. Uh, everything's built into the module. It's very simple to use and very simple to plug in. At this point, we're going to pass it over to Mario Decutis. He's going to play through some of the various sounds built into the instrument, That some that we've already gone through, but... My playing is not quite as good as his, so he's going to go through some of the sounds and demonstrate this great instrument for you. Hope you enjoy this uh, and get a lot from it. Uh, questions that you have, come to Hal Leonard, and uh, our product experts will be glad to answer them and uh, help you along your journey to the Mallet Cat. Really hope you enjoyed learning more about the Mallet Cat with the Gig Cat 2, hearing some of those sounds and really understanding what we were able to accomplish late 2020 and will continue into 2021 uh, with the release of the new Mallet Cat 8.5 with Gig Cat 2. Um, speaking of 2021, it's time to talk about new product. We're really excited that we've got some really great new offerings to add to the lineup in 2021. That starts with the Trap Cat, the re-release of the Trap Cat. Trap Cat's been around for a really long time. It's an extremely unique instrument 
instrument. It's one of the, you know, it's got the most pads for a, a multi-pad playing surface that can possibly be there. But what we're trying to do now is release it as an all-in-one electronic drum set offering. So now what we're going to be releasing is the Trap Cat along with the KTM-1 module, a stand and the triggers and everything. So out of the box, much like what we did with the Mallet Cat 8.5, out of the box, you plug it in and you go. So that's that's what's coming next. What we're going to do today is we're going to we're going to have our buddy Evan play it a little bit just to show you, you know, this is FSR technology, the sensitivity, the playability of this instrument are absolutely amazing just like the Mallet Cat. But what's really incredible is the KTM1 module. We've been able to create our own kits, our own our own factory presets, everything that we put into there, uh, we painstakingly put these kits together. Uh, the guys at Cat, we did a really good job and it's got everything that anybody would ever want uh, to be able to play. It's a really high-end module. It sounds great. It plays great. And then along with an instrument like the uh, the Trap Cat, you, you can't go wrong in the playability. So we're going to pass this over to Evan. He's going to do some playing. Here's some of the sounds, experience some of the sensitivity, and then we'll talk about more product. Hope you enjoyed that experience of the Trap Cat. It really is an amazing instrument, and we will be doing more marketing on it and show everybody a little bit more about what it's about. Making the choice to buy an instrument like that is, is going to be really something exciting for everybody that, that is excited about an instrument like that, like we are. Um, next up is uh, moving forward to our electronic drum offering. Uh, the technology has moved forward, so we've, we've abandoned and are moving on from the KT-1, KT-2, KT-3, and KT-4, and re-releasing our electronic drums little by little. Last year we had our first offering, which sits behind me, which is the KT-200. This drum set replaces the KT-2, has rubber pads and a mesh pad, sounds great, is a 649 price point, and really fits that, uh, fits that mold of that price point extremely well. So this year we're releasing a little bit lower end module uh, model, and then one a little bit it above. So the KT100 and the KT300 will be released by March of 2021. KT100 is truly our entry level electronic drum kit offering and replaces the KT1. 
it it plays really well it's got a great sensitivity of the pads it is all in one the unique features of the kt100 are that it's got a very strong chassis so you tighten it up and you can play on this thing as hard as you want i think what's also unique at the 329.99 price point is that it does have its own kick tower it's not just a trigger pedal it does have a kick tower it comes with a kick pedal and a beater so you've got it all in there the module itself has your basic capabilities of usb midi and things like that but if you don't utilize that it's totally fine because there are 20 preset kits built in and you can have 10 of your own presets you know it's got the standard auxiliary in so you can plug your phone or your music into it play along headphone jack however you want it does have uh, three tom tom surfaces that are all eight inch a snare drum that's the same size hi-hat pad and then uh, a crash pad and a ride pad it also has really nice boom arms so you can put everything and adjust everything to your liking and wherever you want to go but for the most part on the chassis that it's built on and everything that comes with it it is really a nice offering for $329.99 that's the KT100 and that'll be released somewhere around March our next release is the KT300 which we are really excited about. The KT300 replaces the KT3 and is Cat's very first offering with all mesh heads. And they are Remo mesh heads, so they're the industry leader in mesh heads. We've we've partnered with Remo and we are putting Remo mesh heads on our new KT300. Uh, so much to talk about with the KT300, but simply put, the module is really an exciting module. It lights up cool, it's got a really nice LED screen, colorful and easy to use. It comes with 30 preset kits built in, so 30 factory kits, and then you can build 18 user kits. It has uh, u standard USB MIDI in and out. It also has expandability, so you can put an extra pad on it, or you can put an extra symbol on it. It's got an extra tom or an extra symbol jack, so you can expand your kit as you want. In the offering, it's got three 8-inch tom pads, so you're Two, two upper toms and one floor tom mesh dual zone so on the outer rim it, it'll have a second zone so there's six sounds and three drums uh the snare drum is a 10 inch uh, again mesh dual zone pad and a little bit larger so you've got a larger playing service on your snare drum uh the hi-hat and the two symbols are all dual zone and the ride symbol is a three zone i think it's also important to note that on the symbol pads they're not like the cymbal pads that we have here on the KT200 where you've got the plastic in the back and the rubber in the front and the choke, they are all rubber. So no matter where you hit those cymbals or strike them, they will, they will, you know, trigger the way that you want them to trigger. It's got a great choke, easy to use. And also them all being rubber makes the sensitivity of the cymbals a lot better than, you know, some of the standard plastic and rubber cymbals that are on the market. It does have a kick drum tower. So it is a kick drum tower, feels really good, will come with a kick drum pedal and the beater and the hi-hat trigger is pretty standard. KT300 will retail for $999, right in that sweet spot of about a thousand bucks. And uh, again, the playability, the sensitivity, the kits that were put together for this, all 30 factory kits sound great. You've got all your jazz sounds, your EDM sounds, your rock and roll sounds, your heavy metal stuff. The cymbal sounds, just like the cymbal sounds that we built into the 200, are awesome. There's big crashes, big washy crashes, chinas, splashes, and everything that you would imagine, along with auxiliary percussion. Um, so that's the KT300, KT100, and the Trap Cat. Thank you very much for stopping by Cat, Believe in Music Week, and uh, enjoying and seeing what we have to offer in 2021. We really, truly hope that it's going to be a great year for Cat and everybody that loves electronic drumming. Thanks for stopping by.